Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. I double tapped again. <laughs> Even when I set this up before, I was kind of, kind of flopping around there. <laughs> like I, I ended up pressing right off the bat, and I went from well worn over to golf nights. <laughs> That's okay though. And let's try those settings because I think the pro clubs will yield the best results since there really isn't much water at Cheeky Beak Peak anyway, so I can't really use the skimming woods. But with the pro clubs, I can, however, get at a distance, and I'll be able to use the high lofted wedges that will demolish the greens difficulties of, well, nothing there, I guess. Because <laughs> I, I made everything flat before I started this, so the easy conditions for the first round. <laughs> You know, I really don't have to put too much thought into shots when I uh, have no green slope. It's just really the uh, the wind that I have to take into account, and that's on the low side, so maybe I'm overthinking shots, which is why I haven't been chipping in as much as I should be with the giant holes like that. Yeah! By the way, I also noticed you can't get badges over here. See that there's no... No extra slot on the scorecard for badges. Yup. So Joanne is gonna have to go badgeless. Gonna have to get them all with player. Yes, player. All right, part three. Can I hold in one? Probably not, because that's a long distance away. But let's see what I can do. Oh man! <laughs> can. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> That's a pretty good start. <laughs> hmm. Do you think I can do that on every hole, though? Probably not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for that chunky patch of fairway near the uh, opening. Like the thin opening up over... Well, no, 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 go further, go for that! Well, it's a par 5, but... Yeah, let's see how I turn down here. Maybe I should have went for the orange bird. I don't know, that is, might be a little dicey. Right, just, just pitch it out forward, not uh, get into bird trouble. They think our balls are their eggs and they will stop at nothing to take them back to their highly inconvenient for our shot nests, unless they're orange. <laughs> and let's go ahead and... Uh, I have to like, plop it in the deep rough, I think, for it to stop on that tiny little landing area. Please stop for me, ball. Please stop for me. Okay, well, that'll do. It's not in the hole this time, though, so that's a little disappointing, but... <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, you go from long chip-ins at a distance down to a short putt. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I think that's also what makes golf so maddening, too, is that you think you're doing the same thing on your next shots. And you think it's gonna go the way that it did before when you did an awesome shot. But it doesn't! It doesn't. <laughs> like this little bug decides to get on your club just before impact and change the weight of your club. And then it causes you to swing off balance and then it curves a millimeter off target which catches a certain bit of slope in front of the hole that it didn't before and then it goes off the green because that slope ends up going to a much larger slope and it's just a chain reaction of doom <laughs> and we're going for the chip in we are going for the chip in go baby go in you go in you go wow why didn't that roll out that much I didn't I didn't go under, like, I didn't change the impact zone so that I would be hitting under the ball for more backspin. Hmm. Disappointing. Disappointing. <laughs> uh, still, still looking like we're on pretty good scoring pace, though. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so this is the thin hole of slight doom. Because there's not a lot of landing areas that are safe on this one, and I mishit that, so it's gonna go right in the rough. Oh, 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 actually, no. It did go right in the rough, but it turned out okay fairway-wise. Uh, I don't have to do some fancy curvature to get it to the green. I don't know if I can get it to the green. It... 
Can I bounce it off that, or will it just go back at me? I don't, I don't know about this. Experiment! <laughs> I think it's just gonna come back at me. Because I think that's uphill. Oh, that's actually... Oh! Well, now we know what happens when you hit off it. Yeah, I thought that that was just... Stones that you would just hit off of... Like it's an uphill... Um, you know, it's like tier to tier. Whoops! <laughs> that is not how the, the aiming cursor looked at all. <laughs> well, this is turning into a disaster. So much for my incredible start. <laughs> Just get, get to that fairway, though. No? Trust no tree. <laughs> I don't know that how they went so far right. Alright, can I at least get a chip in to finish this off? To, to, so I can at least cut one stroke back off of my uh, horrendous outcome here? Yes, I can. <laughs> wow, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the maddening nature of golf. You think you're doing well? Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. You haven't made it to the hole yet. <laughs> you could be two feet away from the hole and rim out five times. <laughs> hmm. That's a good start to this one at least. But can I finish strong? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm definitely aiming to. Uh, almost to the green, not quite. I wonder if I should try putting that, since the fairway doesn't have that much resistance. Uh, I guess I could try it. Just like a little... Probably, oh, probably full power, because there is some resistance off the fairway. Yeah! <laughs> Matt's using the noodle. <laughs> and... Oh, the, oh, oh, this was the extra thin hole. I was thinking it was the other one, but no, it was this one. But I didn't get a birdie on before. Oh, look at where the, the back tees are at this place. <laughs> That's pretty far out of the way. But it shouldn't be that, that difficult, because I did have that nice angle into the green there. I mean, not, not the green, excuse me, the fairway. It's all green, technically, so... <laughs> I guess I'm not that far off the mark. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Yes! Thank you, whole funnel! Thank you! <laughs> We're getting back on track after that triple. <laughs> and par three. With a tingle head shaped green. We are gonna try and put this in too because of that angle at the green. And the the, uh, the wind matching that angle. Just It's going a little bit to the left, but I think it will affected only very slightly. So I think this will be good. That affected it more than slightly. But I had the distance just right. <laughs> That's okay though, I tried my best. Woo! And 8 under par. I can't believe that I have an actual chance at shooting one better than birdie every hole. <laughs> Despite the triple bogey. So do not, do not ever touch your ball into the rocks. It will not bounce back. It will just go straight out of bounds. <laughs> Where the heck is land? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna go past the bird there. I think it'll go past the bird at least, based on the rollout and my trajectory and stuff like that. Well, almost. I almost had it right. Don't take me back. Ah! <laughs> so to say, don't take me backwards and. Took me even worse than backwards. You put me in a bunker. Oh, well. Mm, well, hold on, hold on. See opportunity, and I will go for it because that's. It still means that I can get to the green in three at least. Which, and if I can get to the green in three, I can still potentially get it in for eagle. <laughs> as unlikely as it may be, it is still possible. Okay, I'm gonna go. A little low trajectory, playing the wind, but yet some stopping power a little bit. Just don't want to be affected by the wind that much, because the higher the ball goes, the more the wind affects it. Mm -hmm. I just want to spin and low, but alas, alas, I cannot imitate the lightning wedge. Then again, the lightning wedge doesn't seem to stop that easily anyway. Anyway, <laughs> not under par, I'll take it. <laughs> 
Well, just think, if it wasn't for the triple, from all those flubberies, we'd be seeing 12 under. Maybe, maybe 13, because that could have been a birdie hole, too. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try making it as hard as we can again. And let's see the character. Well, it looks like we're actually playing... Oh, the, the other character is his son. So maybe we don't have to see the second player. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to see that really quick. <laughs> Alright, Cheeky Beak Peak. Hardest conditions in the world are a go! <laughs> At least as hard as you can make it. <laughs> maybe, maybe someone will be able to hack the game and put everything in the absolute worst possible location that you can imagine, give you the worst possible slope that you can imagine. It'd be like Kaizo Golf Story. <laughs> and yes, I'm using the vintage clubs because of their difficulty of use, but we'll see if that makes much of a difference. I don't know if it will. Good playing the slope. It went a little bit long, but I, I had that curvature right. And just overhit. It should make it. Yeah! I was going right up against the slope. No need to change the angle whatsoever. I think I would poop myself if I managed to shoot 10 under par under these conditions. Um... Are you saying I can't even make a fairway with my, with my antique clubs? Really? I know it's a long par 3, but come on! <laughs> I got 15 mile per hour of wind on my side. Okay, it's green, not fairway anyway, but that, that came pretty close. Uh, take the rudder all the way back. Both the slope and the wind are in the same direction, so I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of sidekick going on here. So I think I'm going to play it way over there. And... Dunk! Oh, I had it right! <laughs> so close. So close. I'm just gonna overhit that. Not gonna change my angle because it's so close to the hole. Oof. Almost got a birdie with the antiques. Oh, but almost is still not a birdie. Unless you count the cheeky beaks as birdies. But I wouldn't want to hit to those unless they're an orange one. I can't even aim towards the orange one at this moment in time because of my antique clubs. Yeah, because the orange one I thought on this hole was in the woods off to the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Now it's kind of, now it's kind of out of play anyway. <laughs> Wait, actually no. Doesn't that one take me pretty far into the location that I wanted to take me? I think it would actually end up be be being better if I hit towards the bird as opposed to trying to go for the fairway on my own this time. Because I think I'll get a little more distance from the, the powers of the Cheeky Beak. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Because <laughs> I don't think I would have made it that far, um, aiming for the fairway in front of the bunker and then rolling it out to there. I don't think that would have happened. <laughs> All right, Antique Clubs, this is where, this is where you start destroying me here, because I don't have much stopping power. Uh, you know, this could actually go out of bounds. Maybe I should just go for the... Go for the nice chunky portion of green off to the left. Like, chunky portion of everything off to the left. Over here. I'll try that. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop it. Other otherwise... Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> the trees helped me. Yeah, that was, that was definitely a better play. If I, because if I aimed uh, towards that pin over there, there's no trees to even stop it over there. But that one significantly farther than I was imagining the rollout would be. Oh, wait, actually, no, I'm gonna go low. And, wait, no, no. Back to... Yeah, I think something about there, because there's a bit of a cross with the slope and the wind. So I think the wind's gonna take it to the right, and then the slope's gonna take it back to the left. That sort of is what happened, but I think the, the slope overwhelmed the wind there. Alright, overhit. I aimed a little bit to the side though this time to counteract that, because I'm, I'm not that close to be able to just jam it in there. <laughs> okay. So far, relatively consistent. Doing my best. 
And that cheeky beak right there is pretty tempting. <laughs> I guess I could try it. It won't hurt my score that badly, I think, if I if I miss. At least I would hope not. Okay, yeah, I nailed it. <laughs> Since it's a par 5, we're gonna get uh, quite a boost here to boot. Look at that. It's not telling me how far I'm away, though. It says 279.3 the whole carry way that I was... Yeah, see, see it changed. After the uh, cheeky beak took it there. Uh, ooh, oh no, no, I can make it. I can make that. Actually, maybe I can't because the wind is gonna push me away from that. Uh, can I go over them? Maybe. Oh, oh, oh! I might be able to. Uh, that might work out right there because I'm gonna hit through the tree branches and that'll slow it down. Try it there. I'm not aiming towards the trunk. I'm just trying to go between those last couple. I did hit the top of the trunk, like the top top of the tree based on where it hit. It worked though. <laughs> that was not where I was aiming for. Though I was going for uh, between these two, right over here. Yeah, right around that point. No, no. At that, that did not happen. But it worked out pretty nicely. Um. I think that's going to be enough power for that then. Yeah, I'm just going to not change it to, with the ZR and... BINGO! <laughs> that was... that was ridiculous. <laughs> got got the cheeky beak shot, got it on top of a tree trunk, and it bounced off with a tick. And then I make a very long putt. <laughs> that was... just... wow. <laughs> Just never know how things are gonna go on golf, I swear. Oh, just like that. <laughs> I didn't even know I would hit that. I thought I'd have enough trajectory to go over that. Well, this is looking like a power hole. <laughs> At best. We'll see. Yeah, okay. Notice that I aimed towards the rock so the wind would make me miss the rock, but it had so much rollout that it uh, just went straight for the bunker. It's like, it's like when the rollouts just keep piling up against the Whitney and Pokemon, it just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> and just when you think you've got her against the wall, you've got her HP down, milk drink happens. <laughs> oh, big time miss hit. Well, that, well, that's actually okay. <laughs> it was, it would have been further left. Had I not miss it that badly, we based on the slope, but anyway, yes, ish. <laughs> yeah, it's still a bogey, but I'm still too on their par. That's pretty decent for these conditions and tight landing areas and stuff like that. All right, nice big chunky green for me to have a shot at here. I did not want it to go out of bounds, so I'm gonna put it all the way back there with backspin and allow the rollout to probably take it all the way to the edge of the fairway. Ooh, that would have came close if I would have landed further, actually, because it would have landed in the regular rough and not the deep rough. That would have been a little, little dicey. I think it would have went out OB. <laughs> okay, looking good. Should I put that like I did before on this? Maybe. I mean, we're not going uphill. It's just a heavy side slope. Uh, I'll try way over there and max it out. Yeah. Oh man, that was not enough! <laughs> not enough slope played whatsoever. Uh, I don't think I... Well, maybe I can putt that. I think I can, actually. I'm just trying to see all my angles here. I think I have to play a little to the right if I'm if, I, if I'm hoping to get this in and then max the power out. Oh! <laughs> Saved! Saved! <laughs> All right, next hole. I'm bumping the stand. That's okay. <laughs> we are. Well, I, I could aim for that cheeky beak bird, but I was gonna say we are gonna probably end up having to go for the fairway at some weird angle with these antique clubs. Weirder than it was before. Uh, now I'll just play for 
uh, between the two, like just past them and between the two. Um, <sighs> that rollout, that rollout. Whitney is getting me even to this day. I'm gonna try way back there, not then since I kinda, kinda already messed that up. Okay, ooh, it's a tree. <laughs> well, we're having another one of one of those holes now. I see. Okay, let's try over there this time. See if I can get it to at least stop in the bunker or something like that that's over there. Or not, not, I mean, not bunker, um, in the hole where the, where the cheeky beak will take it, yeah. Well, well. <laughs> well, I don't think it's gonna end up under par now. We'll see, though. I might just get something... Get something going here. Nice, good momentum, and... Pardon me?! <laughs> I didn't kick that much to the left, even with that slope. Wow, that's a that's a deadly side slope you've got there, cheeky beak peak. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> I even played that further right, and it wasn't enough. <laughs> hmm, this might be the hardest hole in the game with this particular setup. I'm at least going for, still, the lowest score that I could possibly get here. Because who knows? Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to try and chip it in. Maybe it'll happen, but nah. Not with that much side slope. Yeah, that's... If I can bounce it out of bounds with that... <laughs> what's what's the hope of being able to chip it in? <laughs> Alright, we're three over par. <laughs> oh, jeez. I guess if I managed that one better, like if I knew that was gonna happen a little bit better, I probably could have avoided that, maybe? I don't even know, because there's not much way to aim even towards the right. Like, up, yeah, I don't know. That was just... That was one nasty setup. <laughs> this is one of the nastiest setup I've, I've ever seen happen in a golf game. Whoa! The nut! Well, that wind did not counteract the, <laughs> counteract the slope that well. That's okay. We can still chip it in. We can still chip it in. Think. Oh. Uh, whoop. Well. <laughs> that, seven, that 11 yard range is what made it go that far, but I thought I was gonna miss the pin entirely because of the, the miss hit that I did at the impact zone, but no. No, we're good. <laughs> And last hole with antique clubs, high wind, high slope, high everything. Even back tees. Let's go. Let's try and find land again. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Guess over there. No, I'm not gonna really be in good position. And the yeah. It's my best best shot at it, basically, to get the lowest score that I can on this hole. Alright, so I'm going to try and bounce it over the rock. I think I under-hit that to do that. But... Did the wind even move it at all? I don't think it did. <laughs> like, it should have, but it just it went to that point of the bunker that I was aiming at. What the poop? I'm trying to nudge it forward gradually here. We'll, we'll get to the green eventually, I assure you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, so cheeky beak peak definitely, a, definitely a little bit on the harder side with the the harder ground conditions and whatnot. But we were expecting that. Just maybe not uh, that much harder. That would be three over par by the end of it. Can I make it? Probably. Oh, it bounced over the hole. Ooh. <laughs> I, I put it off the green. <laughs> As I said, it was only a matter of time before I did that. Just aiming a bit to the right, like before, but... Ah, really? <laughs> One of these days, I'll get used to the heavy slope. But for now, I'm gonna have to live with the double bogeys and triples. <laughs> or plus sixes, I should say. <laughs> That's a sex tuple bogey. And with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. I would not call that success. <laughs> I guess I guess it's a success that I survived it.